Hey Wampus, a lot of you requested it and here it is, a tutorial about typography, how to do 3D text in Womp, how can we achieve different fonts and effects with it. Personally, I haven't really done that yet, so I got in a specialist for the topic. Welcome Korose, he has made some incredible text work for the team and just so you know what's possible, what do you see in the background is some of his work made in Womp. Now, let's start simple and basic. Corsa recommends he always starts with a vertical and a horizontal cube for dimensions. He creates the basic shape at first and finally proceeds with the details and color afterwards. What really helps here is if we turn on the snapping which you can find at the top right under the view cube. This helps us to align our primitives more easily. For just straight up square typography, we can just use cubes. If we want to add a rounder element, we can work with cylinders or curves. As we can see in this example here, we work a lot with rotation and negative cutting. What's really important to understand for that is how our scene list works. Negative shapes will always affect all primitives that are above it in the scene list. A trick for rotation is to hold down shift while rotating to rotate in a 45 degrees angle. He then continues to add some color and copy already existing shapes, turning them into a negative and just making them a little bit thinner, cutting in for some nice details. He then also uses some fin cubes at the bottom to add some serifs to it. Another thing that you can do is to add some roundness to your cubes and of course play around with the materials. In this example we have a full cube font that's rounded up a little bit and has the glass material applied to it. It looks fantastic and Corsa is then adding some sticks with cylinders inside of it to emulate some LED lights. But obviously we need to make them glow. For that he uses a rectangular light and scaled it very wide. It has a sort of neutral color but the colors of the sticks inside of it of the font will glow up as well. Then we're just adding a few more lights here and there and voila we got a beautiful neon style text. And lastly let's dive into a little bit of a more complex example. For this one, he uses curves set to roundness 1 in the curves properties menu, which allows for the edgy transition between the curve points. I keep talking about this, it's lovely. And he then cuts it into shape with some negatives from behind and in front, which makes for a really nice effect. One of the amazing thing about curves is that they allow us to have color gradients between the points as well. And yeah, then it is really just about creativity. How do you use the shapes, colors and materials to create some awesome text? You can of course look for inspiration on the internet or how Quarse said it, quotes. So guys, never close your eyes. Anything can be inspiring. <laughs> and with that, thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy Womping.